The glamorous costumes, the iconic music, and one incredible story. This musical has it all. It sure does. The Cher Show is the Tony Award winning musical of her story. It is packed with so much Cher. It takes three women to play her. The kids starting out, the glam pop star, and of course the icon. Lucky for us, we have them all here with us today. Please welcome Catherine Ariale, Ella Perez, Morgan Scott to Houston Life. Wow, I can't believe we have all three shares on one sofa. I'm very curious uh, to know what it's like to share this role. <laughs> I Sorry, it's so bad. We get no, it. It's so, so, so good. Bad. It's no. so bad, it's good. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. In case you're just joining us, so Brandon and I went to see the show last night, and I had zero expectations, because how do you play an icon like Cher? Somehow, all three of you nailed it. You look like her, you sound like her. Tell us what it's like to prepare for a role like this, because I can imagine you got to do your homework. Oh, sure. There's a lot of responsibility to to carry the the power of this woman on <laughs> to to portray that every night. Um, for me personally, I did a lot of. Uh, deep diving into the YouTube. I watched so many clips of the old Sunny and Cher videos to get her mannerisms, how she talked, and um, all three of us, I think, read her book, too, <laughs> that she wrote, which is really great. Yeah, so it's it's a lot of fun. It's really an honor, and I don't know. We get to wear the coolest clothes ever, and it's play, like sing the best music. It's, yeah. it's a blast. And I think it's also just recognizing too that she's a human being at the end of the day, and all three of us can identify with the things that she's been through in life in terms of their human level. So right. the humor, the fear, mm -hmm. the self worth, the all heartbreak. of that. So yeah, yeah, the heartbreak. So we're able to really sink into those things because we don't necessarily know what it's like to be an icon and a diva, right. and to be followed by paparazzi but we can get into those levels of her well yeah. from what Derek says you guys are channeling it perfectly and as someone who hasn't seen the show yet I think it's really interesting that they decided to tell the story in this manner and you guys say you know you have to kind of weave and really receive each other on stage here um, Morgan how does the relationship that you guys have off the stage translate to on the stage it's really incredible because I think that's, you know, live theater, it's, it's just a living and breathing thing and it continues to grow. So as the ladies and I met each other in that rehearsal process on day one, our relationship has continued to grow off stage in like a sisterhood. And so that creates such a sound environment on stage where we're able to blend with one another because we just know each other so well now. Right. And that's going to continue to happen throughout yeah. the tour year, which is yeah, incredible. It's very yeah. special. And it's so entertaining, 35 smash hits, of course, what I was not prepared for was learning more about the story of Cher's life, her okay. upbringing, her family, her mom. Ella, you play Cher in her younger years. Yes. And what did you learn about Cher through playing this role? Yeah, um, one of the biggest things was uh, her growing up in Southern California caused her to be bullied for most of her childhood for her appearance, you know, being of mixed ethnicity, being half Armenian, having dark hair. Um, and more of like an olive skin tone. So that was something that I didn't really realize. Like, of course, you didn't look like the other kids in her class. And her falling in love with movies at such a young age, I can relate to that so much. Like, I remember <laughs> seeing my first Broadway musical, Beauty and the Beast, and it changed my yeah. life. And when she saw Cinderella in the movies, like it, she was like, that is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And she's so determined, and she's so spunky. And I see a lot of myself in her. And she's, I love Babe. She, she's, <laughs> yeah. she always loves to come back and remind the other two of like where we started and like yeah. who the girl, the, the the younger self. I wish we like sometimes I wish I could talk to my younger yeah. self like that. Yeah. So yeah, Ella is babe. We talked to Morgan, your star. You know when she's made it, and then Catherine, your lady. You are making your national tour debut yeah. with this show. I mean, that's such a heavy, like it just feels like an extraordinary thing for a first time national yeah. show. How are you dealing with that? Special, all three yeah, of us. Yeah, all three of us. So, so cool, but yeah, it's a dream come true. I mean, leading a national tour uh, has been a dream of mine since college, and so getting to do it right now is really, I mean, it's, it's so special, and I feel so lucky to be here and getting to tour the country and show people this show that, um, not, I don't think, you know, it had, it had a decent run on Broadway, but not many people got to come out and see it. And so when we go to small cities in like Oklahoma and, um, I don't know, Florida and other random spots that maybe don't always come up to New York is really special to see the reaction of the, the people seeing it for the first time and how it's affecting all different generations. Mm -hmm. When you mentioned, all three of you, the relatability that you feel as women, this is what Cher must have been like when she was younger, the audience relatability has to be through the roof because I know a lot of people go for the flashy costumes and the incredible music that many of us know, but what I loved about last night is looking around the theater and visiting with people who remember 
remember when the Sonny and Cher show yeah. debuted. Yeah. So is that the feedback you're consistently getting from audiences, this feeling of love and nostalgia? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's so, so special. special. <laughs> it's, really, it's so special. Um, there was, when we were in Detroit doing press, the, uh, the guy who was helping us out from the theater, he was saying that he's probably in his mid-40s or so, and he was like, I didn't expect to get emotional at the show at all. He goes, but when you guys walked out for the uh, Sunny and Shared Comedy Hour, and you hear the da -na -na -da, da -na -na -da, the logo, from, mm -hmm. you know, and and you hear it, and he goes, I started to get teary-eyed thinking of myself. I was flashback to my living room, sitting on the floor with my mom on the couch behind me, and us watching the show together. Wow! Um, and so I think it's bringing people back to their living rooms and their family connections and things like that. It's so <laughs> sweet, so special cool. indeed. Okay, we got to take a quick break, but when yeah. we come back, Catherine Ariale, Ella Perez, Morgan Scott, they're bringing a taste of the Share Show to. Studio B with a special live performance. That's right. There's the details for the show right there. Don't go anywhere. Houston Life. We'll be right back.